Hi, this is Mandy from Sunflowers Indoors. Welcome back to my channel. And um, today we are on day five of 31 tags in 31 days. Um, we've already had four other tags. We had um, a paper notebook, um, a, sorry, a paper bag tag, a notebook tag, fabric tag, acetate tag and today we're going to do a tag with some pockets and a notebook attached as well. Now um, all of these tags are in the playlist, the playlist is in the description box below. There is a giveaway um, assigned to the YouTube channel and also to the Facebook group Junk Journal Ideas and Inspiration. Um, if you have a look in the description box below you will see that um, and you'll also see details on how to enter. Um, each of those giveaways um, and there's some fabulous prizes uh, to be won. So without further ado we will carry on. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tag here, got loads of paper all by the side of me ready to go and I am going to back this tag with some paper that we can use to write on. That's the first thing. I am going to do. So I'm gonna pop that there. I'm gonna let that settle. Sorry, I got ink and rubbish all over the place. Um, okay, so that is the going to be our base tag and that is what we're going to use um, to write on the back. Now with this one here I am going to cut off this top tag section, just the very top that makes it a tag because we don't need that and then I'm going to cut it in half and I'm going to actually get my cutter because I don't trust myself. top slightly smaller than the bottom and with that bottom piece I'm going to do a little score line literally just I'm not going to measure it as such I'm just going to do a little score line there I think you can see that or oh, how well you can see that it's probably what um, just under half an inch So we've got our base tag, which is brewing, <clears throat> and then we've got two smaller tags. One I've put a score line on, and I'm going to fold that back like that. The other one, I'm going to put a little divot in, but I actually want to cover that first, I think. So let's do that before we do anything else. So at the moment, I printed off so many um, kit pieces that I've got it flying around all over the place um, when I was testing the kit. So I'm using those pieces um, for the backings and stuff. So I'm not actually using them for what I designed them for, but um, they are being used and not wasted. So this is the first one. And I think I'm going to glue that along here. So where were we? We were pulling this down. I mean, this is multi-directional as a rule, so it's not too bad. Okay. So again, we're gonna let that glue down. With this one here, I'm gonna get my, this is a one inch, two inch. Um, and I'm just gonna put a divot 
in here like that. <clears throat> and then I'm going to grab one of my washies. And I'm going to glue a piece of this across here. And I'm not overly worried about the pattern. I just want to get some colour on there. So just across there like that. Now, you could use that as um, a belly band if you use some card. Um, I would, on a normal piece that I would put in my journal, I'd use that as a belly band, but because it's so small for the tag, um, I'm not going to. I'm just going to ink around the edges. I'm using Vintage Photo. <clears throat> okay. So let's go back to our second little piece here. And I'm just going to ink that up as well. pieces there. <clears throat> now I'm going to cut my tag off. So that'll be our backing. So I'm just going to ink around that as well. And I'm going to ink around the top of this tag. <clears throat> I will go actually around all of it just in case any of it is seen. <clears throat> Excuse me. So. We've got three pieces now for our tag. What I'm going to do now is create a tiny little notebook. And it literally is going to be big enough to go in there. So again, I'm not measuring as such. I am just going to rip and hope for the best. <clears throat> and I'm not going to make this particularly thick because as I said it's a tag not a main focal piece for the <clears throat> Um, journal. So we've got a little bit of a notebook which I'm going to um, stitch around the top of that now. The next thing we need to do is we need to get my small cutter which is this one here and I need a little bit of uh, card backing I'm going to use this paper here, I think. So I'm just going to glue some of this on here. And 
and I'm going to cut myself out two little pieces. I'm inking the one, not the other. <coughs> Excuse me. And what I'm now going to do is just put a hole in both of these together. Like that. I'm going to put another Um, brad in there I'm not sure if this is the right move with these but we'll see stuck on there now oh gosh that's not good Gosh, I wonder if that was because it still had some glue on it, I don't know. Let's try and flatten that out. Okay. Yep, yeah, and it still gives us our middle piece there. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to glue this onto here. Probably, no. Let's... Let's not cut corners. I'm not overly happy with that. So I'm going to get another piece. And what I'm going to do with this one, I think, is I'm going to actually do it on here. So again, I'm just, I'm not um, measuring, I'm just guesstimating. Do that on there. And then we'll try another brad and see if that gets us anywhere else. just going to quickly stitch this and I will be right back. So just a little stitch on there and there. We are going to glue this with the flap on here like that. So I'm just going to take some glue that on there like that I'm just gonna hold that for a moment while that sets we're gonna take our top piece and we're gonna glue that each side and the bottom so that'll give us a little pocket and that is just going to sit on top of this one here like that we're going to take our little scrap pad notepad and I'm going to glue that in here like that Then I'm going to create another hole at the top. I'm going to put another brad in. I think I might need to buy some more brads. Seal that down. OK. 
Okay. Just grab my little tags, which are in back here. <clears throat> so we've got some little dirty tags, which you can embellish if you like. I'm just going to put a little bit of ink around here so it gives them a little more room for writing. I'm going to pop those in there, like that. And now <clears throat> I'm going to grab my um, waxed thread that I use. Uh, you can't have anything too thick on this one because it's a tag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie this in a knot up here. Oops, a daisy. Okay, so we're just going to tie that in a knot. Give it another knot if you want, just to make sure. This is going to come behind. It's going to come up and it's going to go in our little ravine area that we have created. I'm going to pop that around a few times and then I'm going to cut that piece off. I'm going to cut this excess piece off here. And then I'm going to Got a knot in this for some reason. <clears throat> I'm going to add a piece of this just on top to disguise that backing that we've done. If you want to come up with different closure ideas, there is loads and loads and loads that you can choose from. This is literally just something really simple. So we have got a tag, some writing space on the back. We've got a flip up notebook on the front, which just does up like that. You can even add a little charm or something if you wanted to on that. And we've got a pocket on the front with a couple of little um, index cards or tags um, and as I said if you wanted to you could have turned that into a belly band I wanted that just as a plain piece but again another really really simple concept so that's a tag with pocket and notebook for day five of our 31 days uh, I hope you're enjoying the series be really good to know what you guys think um, <clears throat> and yeah I um I was wondering whether I'd bitten off more than I could chew when I started this, but I am thoroughly enjoying it. So uh, I hope you guys are too. I'll leave it there for today. I will see you tomorrow. Until then, stay safe, be well, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye for now.